On the surface, vision seems simple. I pick up my phone, I see my phone. End of story, right? Right. Wrong! That ain't even half the story. Our vision takes up more brain power than any of our other senses. And though things like reading and driving and watching brain snacks seem to occur seamlessly, their neurological basis is anything but. Let's see if we can fit it all in one brain snack. The process of seeing your phone or anything begins in your eyes. Little packets of light energy called photons that are being reflected from your phone cross your cornea, which is that clear part of your eye, and they get focused on your lens. Photons first get introduced to your nervous system when they hit special brain cells at the back of your eyes called photoreceptors. Now these neurons have the ability to grab those little packets of light and convert their physical properties into electrical information, which is the language the brain speaks. Now a word about these little packets of light, they come in different intensities or wavelengths, which allows you to distinguish between the different colors of things. The photons being emitted from the pink part of my phone have different wavelengths than the photons being emitted from the black part. And we have different photoreceptors that respond to each. Well, actually I'm lying. You don't have a pink photoreceptor, but you have two main types. You may have heard of them. Rods and cones. Rod photoreceptors allow you to see black in all the shades of gray, and cones allow you to see color. S cones pick up photons with wavelengths that we perceive as the shades of blue and purple. M cones pick up all the shades of green, and L cones pick up all the shades of red and yellow. Your ability to see pink or any tertiary color is a result of a sort of blended interpretation by your brain when different photons hit different photoreceptors. For pink, when red photons and purple photons hit their corresponding photoreceptors at the same time, the brain interprets this as pink. And the different times that these little photons of light hit your retina allows you to judge the distance of objects. But none of this judging process is happening in your eyes, all happening in your brain. A simple and honestly boring chemical reaction happens in the photoreceptors of your eyes and causes them to spill that electrical tea with the next cells in line, bipolar neurons, who then send signals to the next cells in line called ganglion neurons. Gang gang. These guys have really long axons that all bunch together to form your optic nerves. You have one optic nerve or gang of axons for each eye. Now at this point a lot has happened but you haven't consciously seen a thing yet. You've picked up the visual information and a lot of neurological tea has been spilled but you have no idea. The optic nerve from your right eye and the one from your left eye merge at a point called the optic chiasm. From here information about the left side of your visual field is sent to the right side of your brain and vice versa information about the right side of your visual field is sent to the left side of your brain. Let me see if I can help you visualize this. So information about this side of my office is being sent to the right side of your brain, and information about this side of my office is being sent to the left side of your brain. Now this information, still in the form of electrical signals called action potentials, then gets divided up into three main pathways. One pathway sends the visual information to your midbrain, which controls your visual reflexes, automatic and unconscious actions like blinking, focusing your lens, and tracking the object. Now in some cases, if what you're seeing is a lion, tiger, or police officer in your rearview mirror, these electrical signals will also be sent to your amygdala, which helps you mount in an immediate response to that threat. The third destination in the brain is the thalamus. The thalamus is yet another relay station, a neurological gossip queen that's going to get this tea and simply shuttle it to its ultimate destination, the visual cortex. Positioned at the back of the brain, the visual cortex in the occipital lobe of your cerebral cortex is where you finally, finally become consciously aware that you're seeing something. This is mind-blowing when you think about it and kind of hard to imagine. You're looking at me right now, but thousands of complex chemical reactions happen in different parts of your brain before you're ever aware that you can see me. So your sight is finally conscious, but you still need to process that visual information further to tell exactly what it is and where it is. There are about 30 different visual processing regions where this information might be sent from here. In general, the what it is signals about the color, shape, and fine details of the objects go this way, and the where it is signals about the speed, direction, and location of this object go this way. How do we know this? When people have damage to this part of their brain, they can identify an object just fine, but have trouble picking it up, lacking a functional location stream to tell them where it is. When people have damage to this part of their brain, they can pick up objects just fine. They have trouble recognizing familiar colors, details, or even faces. In a famous case reported by neurologist Oliver Sacks, one man lost the ability to recognize his wife's own face and mistook her for a hat. If his eyes were truly the ones doing all of this complex work, damage to this part of his brain wouldn't produce this bizarre condition. As with every one of your senses. Your brain is a boss, the one that processes the information that your organs take in and feeds you back your perception. So in sum, your eyes are just information gatherers that pick up photons of light from your environment. This starts a cascade of neurological gossip about what's going on in your world. One's electrical signals have crisscrossed through your brain to your visual cortex, and not a millisecond before, light finally becomes sight. If you found anything interesting or useful in this video, please like and comment and let me know what it is. If you think someone else will find it useful, maybe.
share your snacks with them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at snack time.